guys. Okay, so unfortunately I have my glasses on today. My contacts are really bothering me. I have an eye appointment scheduled for Thursday. <laughs> so <laughs> you're just gonna have to deal with that glare today. My apologies, but we're just gonna have fun today. It's gonna be an informal video and we're just gonna sort of hang out. I thought it would be fun to hang out with you guys. My house is a bit messy. I have some laundry to do, <laughs> but instead we are going to, oh, that's better. That looks a little better. We are going to bake together. And <clears throat> I haven't done a cooking slash baking video in a long time because they're kind of hard to do um, for a couple of reasons that I won't get into. Um, <laughs> Just anyways, I, I thought we could hang out today and chat and I'll show you some things that I've been working on, some, some decorating I've been doing, and we'll just have fun and hang out and bake together and it'll be fun, I think, I hope. <laughs> okay, let's do this. guys we are all set up ready to go <laughs> got some chicken thawing in the sink some paint some mess is happening I'll share those in a second doing some painting um we are gonna make my mom's famous zucchini bread this is the best zucchini bread ever hands down <laughs> so you're gonna want to make it um, I'm going to divide the recipe in half because it makes two loaves. So we're going to divide it in half and we're going to do um, one loaf for our family that's gluten free and then one loaf for others <laughs> that's regular. And um, I have these little mini loaf pans that are so cute <laughs> and we're going to give them out as gifts. You guys remember when I got this apron back in the spring? I think it's from Marshalls, I think. It was from Marshalls, it's so cute, I love it. Anyways, I figured I've gotta wear it today to bake. I mean, <laughs> it's too cute not to put on. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we need to start with, and I'm sorry if I'm being quiet, it's actually nap time right now. So my youngest is napping. I cooked sausage and eggs this morning, so try not to zoom into that. Um, probably kind of dirty over there, but I'm gonna make some zucchini bread <clears throat> and I need to start off with two cups of grated zucchini. So that's what we're gonna do first. Now, one thing you could do is use a food processor. <laughs> but how do you think I got these muscles? <laughs> um, I just, it's quick to do it by hand. I don't know. It took like two minutes, maybe five. I don't know. Okay, well, I just realized my trash can is in the background. Let me fix that. And I'm back. All right, we are going to do half gluten-free, half regular, like I said. So, see this book? My mom printed off all of these recipes for me when I got married and put them in binders. It was just the sweetest gift, so I still refer to them always. So, the dry ingredients for this recipe are three cups of flour, a fourth a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of soda, and we're gonna start there. But, remember I'm splitting it into 
a gluten-free loaf, and three little baby regular loaves. So, bear with me. All right, I forgot to preheat the oven, so I'm gonna do that really quick. I think it's 350. I'm just gonna start that, let that go, and then let's get our dry ingredients together. Okay, not seen on camera. I almost didn't have enough flour, so I didn't record that. But we're good. <laughs> have all the dry ingredients thrown in our bowls I'm gonna do the wet ingredients and this recipe will be on my blog <laughs> but we're gonna need three eggs the boys are here um, three eggs we're gonna do a cup of coconut oil instead of vegetable oil and then a half a cup of sour cream and then the vanilla, the teaspoon of vanilla, and two cups of grated zucchini. And the boys have just gotten home from the pool. <sighs> Gabe, why are you getting so heavy? Why are you getting so heavy? You're all wet. <laughs> few things that I would like to note. First of all, the recipe calls for three eggs. Since I'm splitting it into two, I decided to put two eggs in each mixture. So we'll see how that goes. And I had a little bit of extra zucchini, so I threw that in too. So I think it'll just make it more moist. I don't usually wring out or, uh, you know, take the, the liquid from my zucchini. I've never done that before. Um, I just throw it in juices and everything, so, and it always comes out really good, so. It only made two mini loaves, not three, which I should have known. I've done this before, so that's okay. We'll just give away two instead of three. I'm going to put these in the oven for an hour at 350 and then I'm going to show you some things I've been working on around here.
All right, got all the dishes done, and I'm gonna show you what I've been up to lately. <laughs> all right, so first things first, the house is a bit messy, <laughs> but I painted this little dresser, this really beautiful green color, and it's just a green that I had in my basement. Not the same as the bathroom green, it's a different green, but I gave it a final coat today, and I think I kind of like it. What do you guys think about it? As you know, this dresser is like a light gray over here. And then this corner cabinet over here is like a pretty mushroom color. So I think the green looks really pretty. But you guys can let me know what you think about that. Let's not look at the laundry here. <laughs> um, this is a new find. My sisters gave me a couple of Marshalls gift cards. And I found that there and I think it's really pretty. So I'm trying it out here for the time being. It was only $39, so it was free for me because they each gave me um, like a $25 gift card. So sweet for my birthday. So I'm trying that out right there. And I I think it's really pretty. So that's what's new there. All right, and then over here. So hallway area. I can hear the floors creaking. I painted all of the trim, a fresh coat of white, and then all of the doors got painted. This really pretty Revere Pewter, I think it's called. Lightened by 50%, and I love it. I think it's so pretty. It's kind of dark over here. I still have to put some paint on this wall that still has primer on it, but I love it. All right, guys, we have quite the interesting outcome here. This is the gluten-free loaf. It has a beautiful brown crust on it. it looks delicious and then this is the regular so i don't know if that extra egg <laughs> maybe threw things off a bit probably but i'm sure they'll be yummy i will put the original recipe in the blog post though so you can follow that one i've been making this for uh, i don't know 10 years now so that's a great one <laughs> after dinner we'll have to cut into it and try some. All right, guys. I already took all the photos for my blog. <laughs> now it's the moment of truth. Time to try this bread. You guys think it'll be good? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's zucchini bread. <laughs> what do you guys think? Yeah. It's good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's good. What do you think, babe? <clears throat> Super delicious. <laughs> you guys, well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and baking. Uh, we're gonna go deliver these little mini loaves. And um, my family really enjoys this bread. It's not something we make often. I know it's not really super healthy, but um, super delicious. So I hope you can make it this fall. And if you do, let me know if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys again for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please be sure and hit that subscribe button. Bye guys, see you later. <laughs> All right, let's knock on the door. Holy cow. <gasps> Got some. Oh, her, even, mama, even mama too, eh? <laughs>